Good morning, everyone. Oh my gosh, my, my uh, throat is pretty sore. I'm really sorry. Uh, it's Monday. Uh, it's the start of a new week. And if you look, oh yeah. Um, had a weekend, a bit of a busy weekend again. Feeling a bit tired and run down, actually. Which is a great start to the week, isn't it? But we put these shelf up. Look at that. That's um, some planks that I got from that wood recycling place that the kids at Mrs. Barry stained. They were like 10 quid. And I got these uh, shelf brackets off of Amazon, like real strong ones. Uh, they were like three pound a piece. Uh, so yeah, and they're staying up so far. So that looks pretty good, like along, along with this. Uh, we're talking about getting some canvas pictures here and here. Uh, all the blinds have gone up. So yeah, you saw the blinds were done there. And we've got the blinds done in here as well. And actually all upstairs as well. My uh, mother and father-in-law came around and did that actually while I was away on Saturday. Uh, came back and they were halfway through. I was like, yes. So it really, really helped. It's so nice to have some privacy. We've done lots of other little bits and bobs. Um, should be quite a busy week with a few things happening. Uh, the garden should be started. Hopefully the bathroom in there should be started. Uh, getting the, oh, we had the floor done in here as well. Uh, that was done over the weekend. The guys had come in and done all this sort of laminate in there. Our washing machine's been broke since we've moved in, so we've been borrowing again the in-laws uh, washing machine. But it's all good. We've had a we had a quite a, a crazy last week, and I'm putting last week's vlog up then. The kids are going back to school today. Now we're going to miss them. And they've had a lovely time. In fact, it's not just been normal break for them. They've not just had an Easter break where they had Easter eggs and a little bit of time off. Like we've generally moved house haven't we so it's been pretty full on so just before they go we'll catch them i've got to walk the dogs and then we're going to do a, a one pot cheeseburger pasta today yeah hello hello guys all right sit then boston sit sit lie down good boy amy sit or you'll ask that good girl go Fingers crossed this week the kitchen fitter should be uh, coming on Wednesday. He had some problems the last couple of weeks. Uh, I've got half the flooring for in here already ordered. Hello. Hello. Give me a five. Yeah. Got you okay? School council badge on. What's that? School council badge? Yes. I'm school council. What does that mean? I'm school council. What does it mean? What, does it, what do you do? So in year five or in my room we go have meetings either with Mrs. Taylor or Mr. Chambers. All oh, right. And um, we talk about some school rules. Oh, so you're in charge of the school? Yeah. Morning, Phoebes. Morning. You all right, mate? Yeah. How's your weekend? Good. Yeah? You mean Easter holidays? The whole Easter holidays, yeah? yeah. You had a good time? Yeah. Do you like your TV now, watching telly? Yeah. I still got to fix that door. It's the only thing I haven't done. Got the cables hidden as well now, so it looks like it's floating. All right. Because they all light up, but they've got individual controls. But the reason when we bought it, I think Mrs. Barry caught that on camera. Like, it had one control, so I've got to try and look into that as well. Is it nice having your blinds in your room? Yes. Now it's darker. Now it's darker. Yeah. Now it's like, in the morning, my room would be quite lit up, but not as much as it used to be. Because I have a darker shade of curtains now. Yeah. You're all like pampered now. Yeah. I've got a little surprise coming for you. Another IKEA pinboard thing. Another one? Yeah, I've got an extra one for you just for a present. Yay. Mrs. B, I know you're about to go to work. Can I ask yeah. you a question? What? Do you know where the uh, chopper thing is? Yeah, in the cupboard. Where the chopping boards are underneath. Are you alright? No, we're trying to get out the door. <laughs> She's like, no, my Mrs. Barry does not like Monday mornings. We don't like Monday mornings, do we? Okay, Alright, bye kids. Bye. <laughs> Are you okay? You need to breathe. I want to wear my blanket again. Where are you flower okay? cake? Alright guys, have a lovely day, okay? Okay. Don't mean if you come. What's in that bag? Washing. Oh, okay. Right. Are That's basically how our washing goes at the moment. Mixed up with rubbish. No. Oh, I was going to put out the front. Okay. Have a good day. So we're back at the park, guys. Except this time we walk from that way rather than that way and try not to get attacked by a tractor that's mowing the grass here which very nearly happened he's walking very sheepish come on boy what's then 
Let's go. Come on. All right, so it is time to start. Uh, the camera is ready. Uh, we're going to do this cheeseburger pasta bake, like one pot pasta. Uh, it should be great. I was mulling over putting gherkins in it, you know, like proper cheeseburger or McDonald's burger kind of vibe. I'd be all right with that, but as I'm making this, uh, the kids and Mrs. Barry are going to probably have it for tea, so I'm going to omit the gherkins. I don't want them to be like me and have to be like into gherkins. I really like them. All right, Amy? Let's do this. It's going all right so far, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Uh, it's all here. Turns out, right, I went out, I bought three ingredients, three, four, four different ingredients, and they are all already in the house. On the flip side of that, I was like, we are bound to have kitchen foil here, and we don't, look. We've just got foil with baking parchment around it, but that will do, I hope. Otherwise, it's gonna spill out everywhere, isn't it? Also, if you watch this video, I'm not gonna open that oven now because it's preheating, but inside it, like, there's this really weird, uh, like, pebble, dash effect inside as if someone's either done it intentionally like flicked paint or they've just had the world's craziest uh splatter oh no look it's actually meant to be like that that's really weird there it is folks our cheeseburger one pot pasta so so good the pasta's all under there with the beef and onions We've got a nice bit of flavour in the sauce, the cheese and the parsley. Loving the sort of tiled effect as well, that we've gone to the effort there with the cheese. It does smell insane in here. The guys are like foraging, looking for scraps, but it's all there, baby. It's all there. Just editing my video and I start to hear a little snort. And I'm like, I'm here on my own. What the heck could that be? Look at all these gadgets, folks. Oh, and there it is. Oi, what do you want? Amy? I don't mind, but Mrs. Barry will kill you. Where, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going? Where are you going, girl? What do you want? What do you want? Huh? Good girl. Yes, you are a good girl. Ah, oh, a little Chloe. Or oh, is that Phoebe? Oh my gosh. That might be Phoebe, actually. That was taken ages ago. Oh, my little girls. Look at them. All growing up. Cool, that's a really old one in there. They can just about to see a picture of Phoebe and I. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. I think that's Chloe in there. Oh, gosh. Memories. And in there, that's a caricature that Mrs. Barry and I got done in Paris years ago. Like, years ago, that was. But I don't mind so much, but come on, you big hairy thing. You're a big hairy marshmallow, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. I think this is my first copy of my first book. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Loving your work. This is very surreal. Enjoy the ride, keep on smiling, take each day as it comes. Yeah, oh my gosh. This used to be the one that I would stick on the microwave, but I didn't want to damage it any more than I have. I've got kind of, yeah. So I've got to keep that somewhere special. I've done the same to my other book. And I'm mulling over starting to write my third book, actually. Go on, down. I just really am not in the right mode for time at the moment to uh, write books, guys. Especially with this whole, uh, I'm being a best man for a wedding. Yeah, that was one thing I wanted to talk about. I'm being best man for a wedding in three or four weeks. It's the end of the month. And I've got so much material on him. Everyone's saying, are you nervous? I'm not nervous at all. Uh, I think it's about 90 people. Actually, there's me on my stag do at my wedding. There we go. Dressed as Sandy. Now, the guy on the end, this guy, I call him Chin. Um... He's getting married, I'm his best man, he was my best man. We're getting married at the same venue that Mrs. Barry and I got married at, so maybe I'll take the vlog camera along to that in a few weeks, but uh, basically my weeks now, other than doing a few bits of DIY bits, work uh, and nailing uh, this best man speech because you've got to do it right, haven't you? You've got to do a good job. I've got so much content on him, but all the things I've read are like, must be no more than five to 10 minutes long. I've got about 45 minutes, no joke. But if it makes my job easier, I don't mind. I think the best thing to do is to just tell everyone to have a drink, innit? Drink, pretend that this is funny, and I'll see you on the dance floor. Alright, so...
So, I am uh, just pretty much done uh, with my video. It's, uh, oh, it's quarter to three, so it's nearly time to put the vlog up anyway. Um, the door to our TV unit that we've done is absolutely driving me insane. But I'm gonna try and tackle it now while the kids aren't here and Mrs. Barry, just so I can see I've done it, it's done. Or I'm gonna throw it out the window. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Yeah, so these are the units. Push in and they open. See that? This one's a little bit lopsided. Yeah, the one on the end's holding it in. And the cool thing is, we saw this uh, in Ikea with Mrs. Barry. Uh, when we got a controller, there we go. There's like a controller for each one. But when we went to Ikea, there was actually one master controller that did all three at once. In a bit, I'm gonna um, ring Ikea and go, what, where is the one controller for this thing? And when will we ever use this? But I'm gonna try and fix that. I think it's both of them actually, but hey ho. <laughs> Here's an update, I fixed two of the doors. But the hinges in the middle one are just broken and always have been, hence the reason it's bending. Uh, so I needed to go to Ikea anyway. I wasn't planning on it for my Monday evening because I wanted to find out about that multiple controller thing anyway. So that's where I'm going to go. And because I've started talking, we've got a little guest. Hello! Absolutely hammering down the rain everywhere. I just passed the Burger King that we went to a couple of weeks ago on the house move and it's very tempting to go in there even though the burger that we had was absolutely hideous. Uh, so let's go get these brackets and I've got to get the controller and then Mrs. Barry wants me to get some shelves and a light fitting while I'm here. Yay! Recognise that? So I came all the way to Ikea for this. Got them. I ended up buying all that. I love Ikea. No, I don't. I hate it. But uh, as well as some logs left over still from the furniture, there's our blue bag full of random stuff I never needed. Had to go back and buy those hinges as I showed you. But those two brown bags there are full of Ikea supermarket things. So sometimes things work out for the best. I wasn't sure what Sunday video I was going to do today or yesterday or for Sunday. <laughs> but I'm going to do an Ikea taste test. I've got some really random stuff in there. Really random stuff. <laughs> That was a heck of a drive home. So wet, so busy, it was peak commuting hours. I do not miss not working from home, but maybe one day I'll have a normal job again and I'll, yeah. All my IKEA stuff is packed away. Chloe's up in bed. I just quickly popped up and said goodnight to her. Phoebe's at Brownies, Mrs. Barry's here. So uh, they've had quite a bit of the uh, leftover bake, reheated it, so I'm gonna have some of that right now. I've just read some comments on the latest vlog. Every time I say, you know, the thing, it starts all of yours that have them working, so I'm not gonna say, Alexa, play classical music. Okay, I won't do that. Here's a station for classical music. All classical uh, Alexa, music. stop. There you go, I stopped it for you. So let's try and do the other unit. Now I've got these. Daddy. Yo, what's up, mate? Good. Good. Yay! I've nearly done the cupboard, but I think I've just worked out how to sync the lights. Watch this. Got to put it right by the sensor, let it find it, then it will start to flash. Hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so now, hopefully. Hey! Haha! <laughs> Wow. Well, we can control it just with what this one thing now. I'm getting uh, a mental support from Mrs. Barry up on the sofa. Yeah, commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Meh. Morning, Phoebes. Morning. What's going on today for you? School. School? Yeah. Great. Morning, Boston. Right, buddy? 
Yes. It's raining. I know I know how you feel. He sat on my shoe. Sat on his shoe. Lush. Right, Ames. <laughs> cool. It's a horrible day out there. Right, Elvis. Morning. Yeah, at the park. Uh, just did a school run actually with Mrs. Barry and the kids. We all walked to school and I've looped back around and I'm uh, in the park again, just coming from the other angle. Here's Amy. Meow. Little Formula One pug. I can't tell you the relief of finishing off that kitchen cabinet last night. It had taken me so long and every turn of a screw would make it drop at different angles and then it finally nailed it. Uh, when Mrs. Barry was asleep. Uh, the battery on this camera literally uh, stopped as I was filming her sleep and I'm not sure if I caught that or whether it'll cut out but uh, yeah she's off today but she's doing a, a little uh, work thing uh, for the morning uh, and I'm just about to walk through a massive pile of mud. Great. Uh, today's video I am filming today uh, I'm just I'm really tired again today. I'm not sure whether to do um, the IKEA taste test today which would be great nice and easy to do it's all ready or to do another video get one in the bag just in case there's any hiccups later in the week because uh, I'm supposed to be going uh, to Cambridge to do this uh, garlic bread in space thing we're all weather depending so if the weather's like here, here it is now in Cambridge it might not happen this week at all so I guess we'll just wait and see with that but uh, Boston's over there somewhere let's get home and yeah get out of this mud uh, I think we've lost Boston. Oh no, oh my gosh, you're there. How the heck did you get there? I turned around a minute ago and he was right on the brow of that hill. Get to get my camera out of the pocket and he's right there. All right, cool. He's been a bit sheepish this morning. I think he's done something. He's eating grass. There we go. He knows he's uh, onto a winner. So he's hiding back and eating all the grass. Somewhere between here, walking the dogs, although I'm certain I had it then, and then going to the shop and getting my ingredients, I have lost a glove. I did this the other week. Uh, I had a spare pair of gloves, luckily. I'm now gonna be Michael Jackson with one glove, unless it suddenly appears. Uh, I've checked the dogs, I've questioned them. They're all right, they, they haven't had it, so never mind. Uh, so we're gonna do millionaire shortbread. Takes quite a while, uh, but I'm gonna try and speed it up in the freezer and see if that helps it. All right, I've got my uh, Doc Brownie t-shirt on today. Uh, I'm gonna get started now. This does take quite a while, but we're gonna try it as fast as we can. I haven't had any breakfast today. Um, most days I don't, I forget, and then I get to like midday and I just go all out, not good. Uh, but I found a, a breakfast fuel drink replacement, so I'm gonna have some of that. They had a Weetabix one as well, but for some reason this was like half the price, so I thought I'd go for this one. It's a bit like chalk. Mm. This video is going really, really well and actually quite quick indeed. And what I'm hoping for, um, it's actually Mrs. Barry's day off from work. I said she's got a work thing earlier. This is uh, potentially for a different job. Um, when she gets back earlier, uh, later, <laughs> um, I hope it's going to come back at a reasonable time. I want to take her out for like a late lunch, maybe an afternoon tea or something. And I'll, I'll just stay up late and edit the video. Um, yeah, I feel like I haven't spent some decent time with her recently, just her and I. Not that being time with the kids is not bad, because I absolutely love that, it's the best time ever, but sometimes just to uh, nip out for a chat or a coffee or something. Um, also just had a, a text from the uh, kitchen design company, their surveyor is 100% coming today. Uh, they got caught up last week with the uh, Easter holidays and stuff, so that is very, very exciting, which means we we're going to be one step closer to getting this kitchen uh, and the flooring done. And I might see if they do bedroom units as well, because I've seen that company, I was like, uh, they're called Larks and Larks, they do really nice stuff. Um, I'm hoping I can get some really nice before and after pictures, but they do some really cool bedroom units as well for the girls' rooms and maybe ours, so we'll see. Um, that was one part of doing this whole house move. It was like, right, if we're gonna do this, because we remember walking around, we're thinking, yeah, it's a nice house, but it needs a lot of work. And um, that's why this whole house move has been intense. Um, Moving house thing, you know, if it was as we wanted it or, you know, I'm not, I don't want to be too rude, but like, yeah, if we were happy with it, 
uh, we'll be fine by now, we'll be well settled in, but uh, we're not. And obviously things like the kitchen, this is like major renovation again. So we're going all in and I promised to Mrs. Barry that if we did this, then we would go all out and do stuff, funky stuff like the fireplace and the, the TV room and just everything, you know, carpets and painted. Like we're in a lucky position to be able to do that because I was like, right, we're just gonna do it, right? And although I miss the old house, I absolutely love the space we've now got and the kids do too. Even the pugs, look, they can even sit apart. Cool. It's going well, folks. Caramel layer, biscuit layer, and the chocolate. It's just here. Oh, so good. This is gonna be delicious. Oh, the millionaire shortbread is all done. It's firmed up. We've got the three layers there. So we've got the biscuit, the caramel, and our chocolate layer. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna finish this video up now. And I haven't heard from Mrs. Barry, so she must still be doing this uh, trial thing. And uh, yeah, maybe I won't be going for lunch. Maybe I'll just crack on editing this and see what she wants to do. All right, folks, I've sliced it up. I'm gonna tidy that chopping board up a bit. Take a little picture. And it looks great. All right, so one thing that um, happened also in the house move so far is that I've only found the one battery for you, for you, the vlog camera. Which means that uh, last night when uh, I think I said, Mrs. Barry fell asleep, I don't even know if it got at the end of that scene because the battery died. So, as I'm not really doing much right now, I'm gonna edit the video, I'm gonna charge you up. All right. Okay. Taking Mrs. Barry out for lunch. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Come on, mate. So I'm going to take you for lunch, but we've got to order some more laminate flooring first, right? Yeah. And look at a lovely kitchen. That is a nice kitchen. A kitchen. We'll get something like that. Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> huh? That'd be nice. I like that look. That looks awesome, doesn't it? I like the blue. Mrs. Barry's obsessed with getting one of those. Fell out lard of things. I ordered some more flooring. Oh, hello there. Um, I'm and I just dropped um, my phone. I dropped my phone and Mrs. Barry's using it. Shattered my screen. Amazing. What did you do, Mr. Lewis? Shattered my screen. He dropped it on the concrete floor in Wix. Yeah, uh -oh. it was like... Oh, there's a picture come up on your face. Um, yeah, so now you have a shattered screen. I think there's a place in town, because that's where we're going to go now, that'll help with that. Yes, not sure we'll have time though, we've got to get back for the school run. I can always um, put some sellotape on it. Mm. Yeah? Claim on it, do you have insurance? No. <laughs> uh -oh. It's an excuse to get a new phone otherwise. I yeah. was looking at that Galaxy S9 one night the other day. You were? You were? Oh. oh dear, at least you can still use it and see it. So we thought we'd save time by uh, Mrs. Barry hopping out the car and paying for our car park. <laughs> As it is, I've ended up going two extra levels. Oh my gosh, where am I going? Two extra levels out of this car park. So I've got... So not only have I got to try and find Mrs. Barry, I've got a blooming handbag, haven't I? So I'm like a right donkey. Your handbag? Oh god, what's the point of that then? I don't know. Hey? <laughs> I'm not with you. I'm not going to break into a car. It's all wet. Go, 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 go. Oh no, it smells of weed, yeah? I think I've got the bad end of the deal here. Oh, all right. What? He's <laughs> mumbling. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's the world's quietest road. Oh, <laughs> past the crossing. <laughs> Zebra, pelican, pug. Always use the pug crossing. The person is walking back and forth. It's driving me insane. She's going to come back in a minute. When I phone. Here she comes.
I managed to get my screen repaired. The downside is I've got to come back. What are you shoving the cupboard for? I don't know. Hey! <laughs> are you drunk? Hey, you like it? Oh. All right, so we've come home for a couple of hours. Kids are back somewhere. Probably near the telly. Hello. Hello. All right, kids? So I think Phoebe might be coming back with me to the phone shop to get where well, we're getting a new bit of glass. You are? Yeah. Because she wants something else. What do you want? We need eye drops. Eye drops? What for? To make slime for Chloe. Okay, cool. Uh, eye drops. And I'm going to get my phone back. It feels really weird without my phone. Um, that's the first time I've ever dropped it. Um, ooh. It's the first time I've ever dropped it and uh, it's just sort of shattered straight away on the concrete. It was a bit awkward, wasn't it, mate? It was. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, that's that's fine. So, uh, let's go get it. Hello. 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 <laughs> um, so why do we need eye drops? Um, Chloe wants, well, we were going to make a sign for Chloe in our old home, but, but we ran out of eye drops. A sign? Slime. Oh, slime, I was to say, a sign? <laughs> All right, and Daddy's going to pick up his non-broken glass phone. I broke my phone today, I dropped it on the floor, okay. Smashed. Oh. Yep. Have they fixed it? We'll find out. In the glass elevator. G? G for? G for goujons. Yeah. We're going down. We are going down, aren't we? In the clear elevator. That, mate, is a sign. One of the eye drops is called Boston. This one. It's got to have what in it? Borac acid. It's a, not, it's a film, Borat. Right, the shopping centre is actually about to close, but they've turned an old store unit into a ping pong thing, so I'm going to play Phoebe. Well, this is going well. So Phoebe's been mulling over getting her ears pierced, haven't you? Yeah. But you, you didn't want to just then, I was like, that's alright. You do it when you want. But we bought a set on clip-on earrings to surprise mummy with, haven't we? Yeah, and Frank. Yeah. Nice colour choice as well. What are they, blue? Something like that. Yeah. Alright, let's get them on. This is going to be a very strange moment for me. For me. Because I, you're my little girl and you don't, you don't do pretty things like this, alright? You have to be a little girl all the time. And just wear nappies. No. No? Well, yeah. Ow. Oh, look at that! Well, maybe you did it a little bit too, uh... Oh my gosh, Phoebe, you suddenly look like 16. It's not staying on? No. Oh, you look, uh... Cool. Interesting now with just the one. Can I my ears, please? Well, only one. Yeah, it hurt... It hurt her ears. Did it? Nice. Mm -hmm. She didn't. I did. Yeah. It only did one because it hurt. Wait, I was going to say. Oh. It doesn't hurt. Oh. Not Wait, impressed, Chloe? Excited. Do you want to put one on the dog? Yeah. 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 Y
We're just chilling, yeah? I'm so tired. I'm eating a millionaire shortbread. I'm eating a millionaire shortbread. No, I've just had another one. Did you? <laughs> I want to eat no. Only Amy could have one. Right, I'm actually going to have an early night. Busy day tomorrow. Yeah. Busy, busy. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. Um, busy day today. Horrible, horrible weather out there. Uh, the lighting on the camera, as always, help, as you saw last night, helps sometimes, but also doesn't do it justice when I say it's a bad day. But that is miserable out there. Um, we have uh, two kitchen surveyor blokes coming this morning to uh, measure up around the kitchen and I might see if about getting some bedroom units as well for the girls. Uh, really worth the wait because uh, I looked on their reviews online and everybody's raving about them. So uh, hopefully you'll see the proof if we go ahead with it. Uh, I've then got to go to my accountants. Um, I shouldn't really talk about this too much. I could probably get in trouble, but there is a, a little bit of an ongoing legal battle uh, between me and one of the largest companies in the world, which probably won't take too long for you guys to work out. Um, that's all I can say on it at the moment right now. Um, but we need to do something about that. And I'm in a very relaxed mindset about it all. Yeah, I am. I, I, I'm a little bit apprehensive because there's, there's so much work that we have to do just for no reason whatsoever. It's so frustrating, but I'm going to play the game and I'm not going to get bullied by a big boy, if that makes sense. I'll tell you all about it one day. Also got to do some basic accounting, morning dogs, uh, when I'm there as well. I'll sort out my landlord uh, insurance, obviously because I'm renting out my other house. Uh, I would only do that if I could get something called landlord cover. So if my tenants uh, default their payments, then there's something that kicks in and guarantees you still get paid. So that is, uh, it's really cheap as well, but I need to fill out some forms for that. Just loads of other bits and more. So basically this is my first time in a long time that I haven't had to do any uh, filming, I should really be filming just to get ahead of the game and uh, like no sort of major DIY. I'm potentially mulling over whacking up some carpet grippers uh, that are still around the edge. Can you see those red things there? Uh, they've really got sharp spikes on, they help hold carpet down and obviously we're not having carpet in here anymore. Uh, so they're, some of them are sort of scattered around this room. So I might whack those up and then uh, take them to the recycling tip thing. The only problem is They've now changed the laws for the recycling tip and because I have a van, like that, uh, they won't let me go in there unless I get these like label things and I have to pay for it. I'm like, that's just a two-seater car, really. So maybe I'll whack those up, maybe I won't, but it's a busy, intense old day. The kids are about to go to school. I've got water dogs in the rain. And that's Wednesday. Morning! Morning, bye! 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 bye. 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 I got weather. Bye. Spring has sprung, Amy. Alright, guys, let's make a deal. Let's just do a really short walkies, alright? A really short one. Yeah? Let's go! Let's go! I just realised I'm gonna go for walkies with the dogs. And I like having my gloves on. I've only got one Michael Jackson glove, haven't I? My sequin one. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna have to get some gloves. Essentials, folks. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> it's so worth coming out in the rain. Uh, I found my glove. <laughs> it was under a tree, completely sheltered. It's bone dry. Uh, it should be absolutely drenched, but it's probably been there for like, was that yesterday or the day before? Yeah. It was just there, I was like, that's my glove. So I found that. Worth getting wet. Or was it? See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Found my glove. You two are both emptied. Huh? You can have a nice rest now, eh? Hey? barking at. Alright so uh, the chaps from uh, Lark and Larks just came down, Steve and Mick, and I've uh, been left with uh, a lovely uh, brochure here. So, uh, brochure? Brochure. Uh, so basically um, we're going to probably go for like a matte white 
uh, finish with like, uh, they were calling them like J grooves or something. I think that's like the handleless look like we had before. Um, so fingers crossed, they came up with some amazing ideas. I, I didn't understand half the things they were saying, you know, kind of like kitchen wizards, including uh, here, there might be like a roller blind thing that I might be able to stamp uh, the Virgin Kitchen logo on so that could look really cool um yeah we just got to play the waiting game now because obviously this does take a couple of weeks more to get going all stuff like that they did also have a little look at the bedrooms there might be something they can help with there we'll see uh definitely be a good before and after um we'll find out with that but other than that it's um it's quite cool because it's kind of like the the next step to uh sort of getting this all done so i've got to do some really boring accountancy stuff right now i'm having a day off cooking but other than that uh, that was a really exciting chat. It's kind of like um, quite nice how Mrs. Barry lets me make all the decisions with this sort of stuff. Well, is it? No, it's not. She does kind of like will tear my head off if I get it wrong. But honestly, these guys know exactly what they're talking about, and uh, I'm really excited for what it looked like. So should be getting a drawing pretty soon. Oh yeah, there was one thing that uh, Mrs. Barry saw the other day where they're like these wall units where you push in and it sort of pops up. Uh, they're gonna try and get those in, so that's gonna look amazing. It's kind of like, kind of like they were sort of saying I can like bump the bum and things will open and close, so excited, really excited. Now I've got to go and sit with my accountant and do some boring stuff. Oh yeah, just had a quick diversion to get my hair cut. <laughs> right, to the accountants. Results of an NOP form here. All right, so I'm back home. Uh, I'm gonna smack up some grip, carpet gripper stuff, the red stuff, before the kids get back. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna start it and the kids will come home, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then I was kind of hoping I'd go to the gym tonight, but I've just been given a lot of work to do for my accountant, so. <laughs> and you might better hear in the background. Oh, you probably can. Um, I am tumble drying after I washed my glove because although it was clean and dry, I washed it because yeah, you don't know if a dog's weed on it, do you? Good for you. So I've got my hammer and chisel. Uh, this is the uh, carpet gripper stuff, okay? If you uh, stand on that, you know about it. It's got like pins in it so that the carpet sticks to it. So I'm just gonna like... There we go. So I'm gonna go around the whole room doing that because uh, we're not having carpet here, we're having laminate. And uh, I don't want the kids to stand on it. Nasty stuff. Sup, girls? How was school? Good. Is it alright? Yeah. Cool. Just told Mrs. Barry about our lovely kitten adventure. I've got to do some bits and bobs still for the accountant. Do you have a nice day? Yeah, thank you. Had a nice uh, positive news on your work situation as well? Yeah. All good? Positive, yeah. Yeah. Good. Nice, nice. Dogs have probably been sleeping all day, I hope they have anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I got all the gripper up, so it's all nice and safe now. I laid that back down, and there, there was a gripper. You couldn't really feel it, but at least it's up and out of the way, all the way around this room now, so. Good. Right, Ames? Right? Oh, and I just spoke to Tom Scott. Do you know who Tom Scott is? Of course you do. Of course, I yes, I know Tom Scott very well. <laughs> um, on Friday, I'm sending garlic bread into space. So that means you're here for the washing machine, man. To fix the washing machine. Tomorrow? Yay! Yes. You need to be here tomorrow. Please. I need my washing machine fixed, please. I'll be here. I've been looking forward to... I never thought I'd say that, but I'm looking forward to having my washing machine fixed. <laughs> I found my other glove at the park. You sure it was your glove? I'm sure it was my glove. Yes. It's in the dryer. I washed it and dried it. I hope you took the stuff that was in the dryer out. No. That was clean. You did, didn't you? Please tell me you took the stuff that was already in the dryer out before you put your dirty glove in there to dry. I've got a lasagna for tea that I've laced in ketchup and mustard because it's my in thing at the moment. And I've dared Phoebe that if she has some <laughs> mustard on her apple, that I will give her some pocket money. And you are actually going to do this? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't think that I've ever... That is a lot on their face. I know. I went to... Yes, ears pierced and mustard on apples. I'm turning into... I'm turning into a daredevil. Right, try it then. Great. Just go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you got it? I just put my tongue with it and it's on your tooth. Oh dear. Not anymore. Oh gosh. 
Well, that's too soft. Amy's good. thoughts exactly. That's nice. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's Thursday and what does that mean? I don't know. I don't know what it means either. What it means is, well I thought the gardeners were going to turn up this today. But the weather's been atrocious so, but today's looking alright. So fingers crossed they'll arrive. Uh, and get started, but um, yeah, I am. Um, I've got other things on my mind anyway. Uh, this garlic bread thing. I am going to Cambridge tomorrow. It is four and a half hours on the train or three and a half hour drive. Amazing each way, which doesn't seem like a lot because when I remember I drove across America before, that was fine. We did like eighteen hour drives, but that's a long way, right? That's very long way. Um, so I'm going to try and do a video today of garlic bread like two or three different garlic breads and do the, a battle and pick which one of those is going to go what? Nothing, I just can't imagine <coughs> two or three different types of garlic bread Yeah, I'm just going to see whichever one tastes the nicest and whichever one does taste the nicest I'm going to take along with me tomorrow or I'll, I'll probably clone it and make it as fresh as I can um, before I leave what? What? I don't know, I just think garlic bread is garlic bread. <laughs> yeah, I know, you get different cheeses and the way butters and that. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> and you could use the ciabatta and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I've been given specific dimensions the garlic bread size must be. And actually, I'm thinking it's so far away, I need to be in Cambridge for like half ten in the morning. Um, the train I'd have to catch is 5 a.m. That's the one I'd get. Um, so that's cool because I could sit on it and I'll just fall asleep and that stuff. Um, but I quite like the flexibility of having my car, so we'll see. If I get a, if I take my car, I might go get a hotel somewhere tonight, like drive there and stay in Cambridge somewhere, and then um, at least I'm there and I can get home and sort of split the journey up a little bit, right? Don't squeeze. Sorry. I'm going for a one. Piccadilly Circus in the morning. Piccadilly Circus. Oh my gosh, I had a dance off last night. I think I captured a little bit of it and it was just getting oh beyond embarrassing. <laughs> Mrs. Barry was doing a dance that looked like she was climbing a ladder. Really she put her back out now. You're a very excited girl this morning, aren't you? Huh? She's been running around like a madman. So we just come up the hill at the park and uh, she's just like sprinted up there. That's going to be really good for your core, okay? <laughs> Alright, I just got back from the shop and I have decided that I am not going to leave tonight because we want this garlic bread to be as fresh as possible. So if I end up making it like, I don't know, just before I left tonight, it would just be, yeah, it would be really, really cold. So I'd rather make it in the morning, like 6am before I leave. Uh, and then take it and know that it's made on the same day. At least, I mean, we know it's going to be cold. It's going to, you know, you should eat garlic bread almost straight away. Um, but that's the best I can do, really. It's going to be a four hour ish drive in the morning uh, with a couple of breaks. I didn't realize how far away Cambridge was. <laughs> but so for today's video, I'm still going to do garlic bread, but I'm going to do. Uh, a comparison. I'm going to do uh, one with uh, frozen garlic bread, your budget stuff, which is perfectly fine. Uh, one with a baguette, I'm going to go for poppy seed, uh, and then completely making the bread from scratch and merge that into one video, and then hopefully get some of this footage of the balloon right at the end. So, yeah. Oh, and the other really annoying thing is that you know, when you get a delivery coming, you know, that happens quite a lot. You, you, you see that here um, and on other videos when the doorbell goes, but this is different today, like we've got someone coming to look at our washing machine and uh, Mrs. Barry said they're going to text her uh, when their anticipated arrival is. But you know what, I'm, I'm not going to let that stop me. In the past I'd be like, oh right, need to stop. I'm just going to say, look, this is my life, look, I'm making videos, if you want to be in it, if not, you keep your head down and do my washing machine, mate, alright? <laughs> I'm going to freshen up and we're going to make some bread. Alright vlog, we're making our dough for this garlic bread, homemade baguettes, baby. Right, washing machine update. The uh, washing machine guy, see he's getting in his van over there. He's just gone. Uh, look at that. Look 
Look at how risen that is. Loving it. Uh, yeah, it's done. Apparently it was just a catch on the washing machine. Um, and um, I don't think it'd be too tricky for me to attempt it again in the future. So yeah, it sort of rises up. So I can turn the water back on. We can push this back into place and yeah. So I did this the other day and the water went everywhere. There we go. See, the water's gone. We've now turned the water on into our washing machine. Uh, when I disconnected it the other day, that was what I meant to say, turn this off. And obviously there's still a bit of water in the system. It just gushed everywhere. That was before we had the floor done. So yeah, that's it. All plugged in. Turn that on. Mrs. Barry and I can now have our clothes washed again in our own home. It's got the really awkward thing of trying to shimmy the washing machine back into place. I understand that might have looked a little bit kinky, but um, <laughs> sometimes you've got to shunt or, uh, these things in place. It's perfect size in there. So obviously when they design that part of the extension for utility room, uh, they're normally at 600 wide, so they put, fit perfectly, six and six, 1200. Uh, it's just a little bit of a tight squeeze. I think that's what some of you guys enjoy about these vlogs is that it's, um, see, look at these lights, the difference it makes. Um, it's that, you know, okay, I'm making a video about this garlic bread today and I'm plenty about my forays into the travel and all that stuff but it's more that like it's just real life just we're just normal people apart from i did have to explain to the guy why there is a homer simpson cardboard cut out i've just started doing that normal now i'm like look sorry he helps me focus my camera i'm not it's not like a weird scarecrow all right folks this has been a rather epic uh, <laughs> video indeed um it's two in the afternoon which i'm normally almost done by now sometimes depending on the intensity of a video but uh three garlic breads store bought in the middle uh, baguette poppy seed one bought from a store there and the homemade one uh, from scratch so totally homemade baguette and totally homemade filling they all smell amazing uh, so I'm going to finish this off now how was school yeah. uh, Mrs Barry's back from work Hello. donning her trainers we've just very smartly picked the kids up from my mama's <laughs> and uh, walked the dogs at the same time so they're all emptied and it's like so early which means I can go do my tire pressure outside Last time I did the tire pressure on the van though, um, I had a warning light on the motorway, but I'm gonna do that uh, just so that, uh, aww, uh, just so that I've got even tire pressure for the motorway, it might go a bit faster. I go a bit faster. Might go a bit faster. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I made. Yeah. So having a garlic bread taste off. You want a taste of it? We can all smell each other's breath afterwards. Mm. Very garlicky. I thought you were gonna walk in and go, I smell garlic! Yeah, You're going mental at me. Garlic. It's a bit crunchy. Mm. <laughs> Hi Chloe, I'm sorry to bother you there, but do you happen to know the PSI for a mini minivan, please? No. Thanks. <laughs> Mrs. Barry's back. I serviced my car. Yeah, Dad. I can't break down now. Everything's going to be squeaky clean. Did you do mine? No, I'm just finished doing mine. <laughs> do you want me to do yours, do you? I can if you want. You ain't going anywhere tomorrow? No, I know. Um, Faves, was your bike ride alright? Yeah. Nice. Can you remind me, I need to charge my drone up. In fact, I'm going to go do that now. Charge drone up. I need to make the other garlic bread tonight. Okay. Oh no, first thing in the morning. I need to get all my stuff out. I've already got first most of it done. Morning, aren't you leaving at like 6? Yeah, but it needs to be baked for like 10 minutes. Uh, well, 20 minutes. Okay. I might actually go to the gym for an hour or two. Healthy, innit? Back from the gym, feeling amazing. Mm. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. You're all like snuggly. Um, early night. It's a three and a half hour drive at the moment, but obviously it changes with the Google live traffic thing. It's actually sending me a different way up to Birmingham and across at the moment. We just had a look, didn't we? By the way, gonna get up at six ish a.m. Six ish, and. Uh, I had to, actually, if I if it's three and a half hours, I'll be there an hour early, so I might not have to leave till seven, which means I'll make my garlic bread in the morning. Yeah, but you'll hit all rush hour traffic, won't you? You just want me gone, don't you? Mm. <laughs> no. I'm trying to help you. She loves me, I think. Sorry. Mrs. Barry used to do this thing when she yawned. I mean, should we both do it to each other. She'd go like that, and I'd stick my. <laughs> 
They'd put a finger in each other's mouth. No, what was the other thing? Was it, was it yawn? No, sneeze. She's about to sneeze as well. Oh, and you just touch that. the nose. Just touch that nose and it stops it. And it used to really, no, I want to sneeze. I'd be like, boop. I feel like all people have seen me do this week is either be really sleepy on the sofa or rushing out the door going, come on, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, so do something crazy then. Oh no, we've got you dancing the other night as well. Oh, do something gosh. wild. Sorry about that. <laughs> do something wild and unexpected like right now. There you go. Redeem yourself. <laughs> Good God. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Did All right, that worked. I just stood on a dog's toy. It really hurt. Tomorrow we're going to put garlic bread in space. Morning, folks. It is Friday. Today, hmm, it's early. It's early, but I woke the kids up. I had to get them up as well. Um, we are sending a baguette into space, or the outer edges of space. I still need to understand that. You forgot something. What did I forget? Oh, that's my drone thing. Uh, Tom doesn't have a drone. I thought Tom would have a drone, way compared to me, sort of videos he does. Uh, I don't know why I do a food channel and have a drone, but I think it's my toy, you know. Uh, to be sure, we're going to go with a smaller baguette, so I'm going to slice that down using the butter I made yesterday, and I'm also going to take a chopping board and a bread knife with me, just in case. So I've preheated my oven. And the tooth fairy came. <gasps> tooth fairy came, look. Nice. You really look like a thug now. How's that tea? That's good. Well That's done. Oh, how much did the tooth fairy give you? A pound. A pound? Oh my gosh. That's you could buy one you could buy two of these with that. Yeah. Actually one. Because of inflation. Sorry. So we get the garlic bread made. Um actually I've got it a little bit wrong because Tom said he offered to pick me up from the train station um uh, about half past ten because it's half six in the morning. Uh, the drive, it's actually done a different route. It could be three and a half hours, so I might have half an hour to stop and get some breakfast or uh, something about halfway. So uh, yeah, let's get it going, let's go, let's go. This could be the f most famous garlic bread in the world by the end of today, or when the video goes up. <laughs> All right, so in here is my garlic bread. It's still warm, just wrapped it up. So it's made fresh on the day. Bit of four around my bread knife and a chopping board to take with me, just in case I need to slice it up. Have a good day, Phoebes. Okay. Mrs. B, are you angry today or are you grumpy? Which one? Did you say that on camera? I don't think you did. No. It's like... Stop being so angry and then said, I'm not angry, I'm just grumpy. <laughs> yeah, is there a difference? Yes. All right, like... and hangry as well. Anyhow, yeah, um, so it's all done. It's looking amazing, but we are in, running a little bit late, so we should get going. In this bag that I took to the gym last night, <laughs> it's no longer a sweat towel and a water bottle. There's a drone and some garlic bread. What a combo, eh? All right, guys. See you later. Oh, I have got my um, dog walking shoes because we might end up in a muddy field, and I've got some uh, waterproof trousers, and I'm wearing a thick coat anyway. So uh, I'll wear this for now and see how we get on. Depends where it lands. What if it lands on a house? It will land, what do you mean? No, he's going to track it, apparently. I don't know. What if it lands like in Scotland? So many questions. Let's find out. I'll tell you about it tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ah, uh, folks. <laughs> this is the weirdest place I've ever driven to meet someone in my life. Um, there's a path like this. There's this, right? And it's banks either side. It's quite deep. It doesn't show. But I literally have to go one way. Otherwise, my car, if it goes down there, I ain't getting it back up there. <laughs> Three and a half hours later, I have not had any breakfast or coffee. I thought I'd stop, but I just kept going. But the postcode I've been given was the nearest thing over there. And then he said it's about 304 meters from the farm down there and then go left. So I'm going to keep going this way. <laughs> Let's see what happens, but hopefully I can find Tom or this other bloke who I think is Steve. Uh, and I, I had other conversations on the way and on my hands-free kit. Just spoke to the uh, kitchen folk. Uh, people at Lark and Larks, they're trying to um, sort out a survey and that for me, like a proper drawing, really, really nice. So hopefully it will look awesome and all funky and stuff and, you know, that's it. Anyway, I better find out what I'm doing here. I've got my dog walking shoes and my garlic bread in that bag. Stinking. Yeah, um, I am literally doing like two miles an hour and this is a private road, so I am gonna film, all right? Before any of you guys, you shouldn't film when you're driving. Look, I'm driving uh, two miles an hour and these are the banks I'm on about. If, I, if my car goes off there, 
Uh, that is going to be fun and games getting out of there. So I'm going back to the main road. I think this was the rendezvous point. I think I've gone a bit too far into it. Uh, and hopefully, uh, I think the uh, balloon guy has got a bit more of a, a farmer's vehicle, so to speak. I feel like I'm in a movie. Movie, baby. <laughs> All right. I really want breakfast as well. Maybe I'm just going to go for a drive. Well, I did need some diesel, but ideally that was my code name to get a coffee. Uh, I'm now in the most British place I've ever seen. Uh, this is a, like a little sports club. This is a little village shop in a hut. Uh, I just want to get some, I just want something to eat and maybe a wee wee. We'll get some diesel later, we've got enough. So I was actually right. This is the way we need to go. This is an extremely budget version of Top Gear right now. It'd be so annoying if something comes the other way. I'm going to reverse back down. It's often as publicity stunts, but despite a lot of breathless press releases, they've not been launched into space. Most standards organisations agree that space officially starts at the completely arbitrary Kármán line, which is 100 kilometres up. This is my garlic bread, folks. Let's <laughs> survive the you trip. get a quick lunch in, but I probably won't, All right. won't post. Now, I, I will... I'm hoping... I'm... All right, Tom, so here we are. Um, what's going to happen to my garlic bread? So, uh, Steve here, who is our uh, balloon engineer... Hello. ...is going to attach, <laughs> attach the garlic bread to the balloon rig he's built. Yeah. It's going to go up to the stratosphere. Up there. And then it's going to come back down and we're going to basically taste test if it's changed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Yeah, yeah, it should be all right. It's uh... lost a payload yet. Okay, this is, yeah, this is exciting. Brilliant. <laughs> First time. I'll probably put one across it as well. But the, the sort of um, gubbins are in the way of doing that with it. Right. Right. I think um, I can lock them better if you like, but they're sort of on the... Yeah, that's... I, I know what the GoPros do, that's that's in shot. I could, in theory, go through all the hassle of turning the Wi-Fi on there and... I'm going to do that. Yeah, do because that. they're externally powered, and it makes sense to check that, doesn't it? And not be an idiot about it, and not have the bravado that is just going, Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Never touch the balloon. Never touch the balloon. Nice big neck. Right. No tying the neck. <laughs> Launching balloons again today, but I don't suppose you're flying, are you? <laughs> so I'm going to set the drone off. Thank you. And the balloon's going in the sky. Just a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> Takes 10 minutes to feel that. I'd say that's full now, but. Sounds like someone who's had too much baked beans. This is the strangest day of my life. So how high do you reckon? The whole length of this line. The whole length of that line all the way to the thing. So cool. Just above the trees, I should think. <laughs> I like that sound. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, wow. Has my garlic bread gone? We're going to drive an hour away. Um, there's a rough five mile radius of where it could land. It could land anywhere. We don't know. <laughs> All right, so we just uh, got to the Oliver Twist Country Inn, which is our uh, rendezvous point. But I think uh, Tom's gone to go get a McDonald's. I think Steve might have got a bite to eat as well. But I think I might grab something in here. Uh, it's weird to think that roughly this is the area where the balloon's going to be. <laughs> it's like. It must have been so much easier for the balloon just to be like, yeah, gonna go where the wind takes me. Um, it could land anywhere. It's a very, very, very rural area though. There's like fields and like lakes and rivers and stuff like everywhere. So the chance of it landing somewhere awkward is probably likely, but probably not on a house or on a main road. Very, very likely to be a field. That's what they reckon. It turns out the... Uh... Oliver Twist is actually shut. 
So I don't know where we're meeting and I'm blooming starving. Alright, uh, just drove around for half an hour. Couldn't find any food, so I'm back. Draw a line between Walpole Highway and Tully St Lawrence and then go south of it from the middle of that. That's the spot right now. Yeah. So we've got, we've got a tracker through there. Yeah. And a landing spot maybe 10 miles or so northeast of here. So we're not too bad. We're not too bad. It's, all, it's burst. It's on its way down on a parachute. Right. <laughs> Uh, so things just got really mental after that scene. We just found out that the balloon is coming down quite quickly. We had to drive um, almost quite close to Ashen's territory, about 50 miles from Norwich now, which for me is even further from home. All good. Um, so it should be landing somewhere around this area. Um, they might have got more data as we've driven closer. But we're meeting here at the Woolpack Inn pub on the first one here. I don't know. It could, it could literally land anywhere. Like, it could land right by the car it could still land like 10 miles that way this is really surreal this is a really really strange day but kind of exciting and fun too and actually another reason why i really enjoy doing these vlogs because one day i think i'll sit back and watch small go like what <laughs> you know some weeks i have quite normal weeks and other weeks i well i don't do this very often but is there the balloon chaser all right. Hey, hey. I was just saying we're chasing the balloon. Do you want to park up here? Yeah. Get in this car. Yeah. And navigate. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna navigate. Is it not landed in that little bit of marsh there on someone's house? Is it? I don't know. Um, I'll just see if I can find somewhere better to park. Okay. It's on the entrance of this field. Ah. That's. Right, the camp on the other side. Is it, is it deep? Well, I don't mind trying to step in it. Yeah. <laughs> yep, <laughs> still intact. <laughs> So how was it for you today? Did that worked, mission accomplished. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever tasted uh, garlic bread out of the world before? Out of, the, out of this... <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's been to the stratosphere and back. Yeah. And we've just eaten it. Yeah. Which is great. And, if, uh, if we all die of the Andromeda strain, uh, it's my fault. That's, that's it, yeah. That's <laughs> well, I've got a four hour trip home. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> we are, uh, ooh, dim lights. Uh, we are three hours into the drive home. It's eight o'clock at night. I need a wee, I need some food. I'm absolutely starving. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I was gonna, I was at that Oliver Twist place. Got there early and it was shut anyway, hoping for food there. Drove around for half an hour. Couldn't find anywhere to eat. And as it was, we then ended up like doing the whole balloon chase. Absolutely mental day. Uh, I'm at the roadside services off the motorway on the, on the last leg home. I'm probably just gonna get some fast food to be honest. I just wanna eat, I want a really strong coffee, maybe a cake. I'm gonna take my drone with me in my bag and my knife. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, that was a nice little break in there. I was actually planning on that, uh, just getting some food and kept driving, but I needed to sit and have a break. So um, it's quite late now, feeling recharged. I got a large coffee to take with me. Can't wait to get home. And then tomorrow we've got to do that IKEA taste test. So uh, <laughs> I'm not feeling like doing it right now. I'm feeling really tired. But we'll push on. Morning everyone, 7 a.m. I slept like a log, taking the dogs out. I got back home and Mrs. Barry was having her hair done. And I hope I was just tired, but it looked like neon. And I was like, I'm just so confused and tired, I'm going to bed. Uh, doing the IKEA video this morning. Yeah, we're not gonna eat a lot of food. Honestly had the best night's sleep ever though. It was so good to get to bed early. But there's an amazing photo that on the GoPro of actually the earth with the garlic bread made here in my hometown from my local supermarket, it made in our oven up above the planet. It was insane. I'll try and get that image on uh, on my video as well. All right, just check the weather. And today's forecast is cold, yes. Windy, yeah. Uh, chance of rain, quite a lot of showers, and possible thunder and lightning, which if I can get that on the vlog, it'd be well worth, uh, so I was gonna finish it last night, but I, I literally walked in the door I'm like a zombie, I'm going to bed. So we will uh, finish it at the end of today at some stage. Uh, Mrs. Barry's out tonight, so I'll uh, have the kids. So 
it might be a bit of an early goodbye or whatever but yeah we've got to prepare ourselves that's why i'm doing an extended walk for these guys i didn't really do much exercise yesterday extended walk now to prepare ourselves for some of this ikea food one of which is a dime bar cheesecake which will be amazing. My focus on the way home, on the drive back last night, is actually really weird because I don't commute, I don't drive anywhere much anymore. It reminded me of when I used to do old school Virgin Kitchen videos and I'd like come up with ideas. Like when you're in your car, that is the best time to ever come up with an idea. So if you ever get an idea as well, make sure you write it down. Cause you'll be like, yeah, I remember that. And you never do. Uh, my top tip. Uh, so that's oh, how the Virgin Kitchen kind of created actually. So yeah, I was in the car and I was um, mentally in my head doing uh, preparation for the best man speech, which this week I have not been able to do at all. Um, I just needed some, like a whole day to really sit down and focus it. I've got so many stories on my mate, uh, but I don't want to make it like the Barry's show. It's not my day. <laughs> I've got like, I could do like an hour on him, but I've been reading online that the best practice is like five or 10 minutes or something like that. So yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. I'm not nervous at all. You've got to envisage everyone in the room being naked, haven't you? So uh, I'll probably even use that line. <laughs> right, folks, been a bit of a, mon a monkers, a bonkers morning because we have just finished eating a lot of food from Ikea, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, it was my favorite. Can I tell you what my favorite yeah. thing Yeah. What was your favorite thing? The meatballs. The and meatballs, yeah. These are proper Ikea meatballs. Yeah, the, um, the With meatballs. the sauce and jam. The meatballs and those crisps. Oh, the crisps, yeah. And you like the smoky sausages, didn't you? This is elk sausages. Yeah, yeah I, I love them. This is effectively cinnamon rolls. I just eat those um, elk, um, um, what are they called? Sausages. Sausages? Big, they're big bites. Yeah. Oh, I like the sausages. Yeah, 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 I like the sausages. I'm quite proud of this thumbnail. Pick some random IKEA staff photos. Superimposed our heads on them. <laughs> Oh my gosh, a uh, bit of a rushed video to be honest folks, that one. Um, but hopefully it'll turn out alright, I'm just about to start editing it now. Oh, some really good food, and also some really weird stuff. Your face Chloe, Chloe looks most like professional. She does, that's <laughs> really... Oh my god, look at Phoebe's hair. That's because I cut your neckline in properly. I couldn't be bothered with the other ones, I was running out of time. <laughs> that really does look like she worked in Ikea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god, think of Phoebe. She's got her nails painted. <laughs> yeah, earrings and nails painted in one week, huh? Yeah. Look at you. Yeah, I know. Is it? it doesn't get any better than that, does it? Where are we, mate? Well, um... Well, basically, um... <laughs> I don't know where we are. You don't know where we are? No. We're at a park. Oh yeah, but we're nearby the playhouse. Yeah, we went for a sandwich, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. With Phoebe, it's demolishing a twister. And I just... Mr and Mrs Lettuce. Uh, oh. jo join us in the ice cream participation. This is your natural body today. Mm. <laughs> so, not, not wearing the plastic one. So. And, um, yeah. I... these, are my, uh, these are my real ones. <laughs> and the ice cream that I had was a mini a chocolate mini milk. Really? I just um, had a total of... But mine was better. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, James your boyfriend? I've got a boyfriend. I'm getting jealous. Mum! <laughs> Which is Barry's on the bench on her own. <laughs> like the Mr. Bean sketch on your own, look. Chloe, see how fast you can run? What time are you all the way to that tree? Not as fast as me. Four, five, six. Sort of meant the other tree, but then we're. Oh, good. I sort of meant that tree. <laughs> oh, it's James rolling the dog poo now after all this. <laughs> yeah. Nutella all over his t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're hanging out with two drunks. Is this when you get too excited, you laugh and you wee? No. Yeah. You're not my dad! <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a late afternoon folks, um, we got back from uh, the park, that was the last thing you saw, uh, Mrs Barry's gone out, uh, I'm here with Phoebe, hello, Hello. I'm being a very irresponsible father because I'm upstairs still working, um, probably got about another hour to do so I could hear her downstairs in one room and I could hear Chloe in the other, I think she's watching the uh, the new 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, is that right? Yeah. So she's watching that. And um, I think Lettuce is coming around because uh, Mrs. Lettuce is out with Becky as well. Um, so I think Lettuce is coming around, but I've still got to do lots of little admin -y things. So um, really, really, really tired now. Uh, yesterday's properly kicking in, but um, it's been a good day. You can see I go really red in the face when I'm like been editing for a while. Like whenever I'm focused, I can feel how hot I'm getting. It's like ah, uh, and I'm also um, not only uploading the video, the IQ taste test, because the edit's done. It's just doing all the other bits behind the scene. Um, I'm now sending over some of the drone footage. We got the we got the drone of uh, the balloon being landed, but not taking off. It all went absolutely bonkers. because I was gutted I couldn't get it taken off. Unfortunately, in fact, I didn't actually see it properly go up because I was like trying to sort my drone. I looked up and it was halfway in the sky, so I haven't checked this camera yet, that was how the footage was. But all in all, it's been a very fun, strange, but really cool week. Right folks, it's uh, late evening here now. Mr. Lettuce has joined me. Alright mate? Tired. Yeah, we are watching uh, some airline disaster programme. Yeah, it's a little bit of light-hearted entertainment. Yeah, about people kicking off in airports basically. and. Uh, Oh, it's looking very spaceshipy now. Look at that. Dogs are chilling out in here with us. It's been a rather bonkers week. I showed you a little bit of foot. Oh, I just showed you a very secret photo, didn't I? I'm not allowed to show that yet on this vlog. Mm. You like that? Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in for a treat. <laughs> yeah, basically I just showed James a picture of the um, garlic bread, a hundred odd thousand feet in the sky, looking down on planet Earth. It is absolutely bonkers. Well, crazy week. Thanks for watching the vlog and uh, see you next week.